yeah welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel i'm christos tomuzo the ceo of weblog technologies and this is our tv where we share stuff like website design training web development training online marketing strategies teaching how to blog and how to boost brands here in nigeria yeah so if you're someone interested in learning how to design websites website blog e-commerce and all that this is the right channel to come and visit then if you're someone who is interested in learning something like search engine optimization video training and video editing content creation and copywriting and all that i'm sure this is a channel you won't want to miss so hit the subscribe button if this is your first time watching a video or visiting our channel and i bet you you won't regret doing that so in today's training We'll be looking at what is a website, the overview and an introduction to what a website is and how it works. So I'm sure I'm sure that a lot of us out there will be hearing what a website is, and we don't really know what you know what a website is. But so in this training today, we'll walk you through what a website is, what is a web page, what is a web server, and how websites works. So guys. Let's get right into my system and I show you what a website is, what a web page is, what is a web server and how a website works. Yeah, so the first is we are going to be looking at what is a website. What is a website? Yeah, okay what is a website in the first definition we said a site or a website is a central location of web pages that are related and assessed by visiting the home page of the website using a browser we have browsers like Chrome, we have the mozilla firefox we have internet explorer and all these are some of the basic browsers then we have for example our website let me take you to our website blog.com weblog.com okay it's here already let's search for it this is chrome and you know chrome is a web browser so that is why you are able to come into this website called weblog.com as you can see right here so this is an example of a website let me walk you through our website you see what we do website design and development search engine optimization social media content marketing digital marketing is a video so all these are what you will see in what a website so let's go back to our video so the next definition here we have is a website a website also is it is also written as a web site it is this is another way you can write it it's a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a common domain name pub and published on at least a web server yeah in this video before the end of this video i'll walking you through and telling you what a web server is and a domain name so let's go back to our website we had something of a domain name this is the domain name of our website this this webblog.com he said it is identified by a particular domain name and the domain name is the name of your website whereas webblog.com is our own website .com is an extension we have .net, we have .org and all that so this webblog is our what? our domain name so the web server for that before the end of this video I'll be walking you through what a web server is and what it's, how it works and connects to the website and all that so we have another definition here that is broadly divided into two we have static and a dynamic word website so website and what is a dynamic website you see so aesthetic website aesthetic website consists of maximum of three elements these three elements we have the html file we have the css and we have the javascript these three elements are html5 the css and the javascript this js means javascript but last but the last two are not really necessary they are pre-written 
creating coal, a combination of three previous files. It is also the same as every user unless the website owner makes a change. The action or preference of the user can't affect the initial word code. This is what a, web a static website is. A static website is not meant for interaction of the user and then the visitor in the website. So a static website is just a website that is fully made up of HTML and HTML is just all those text and written forms in the font and home page of that website. That is what the HTML file. That is why in this definition it says that the last two are not really necessary in a static website. But coming over to a dynamic website. Dynamic website code is written on server-side language such as PHP or not JavaScript. The content is generated dynamically with every request and it can be different from user to user. A dynamic website interacts with a database and the user can affect the code based on his inputs. You see what I said? This is opposed to a static website. It is said here, a dynamic, a dynamic website interacts with a database and the user can affect the code based on his input. Let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is generally what a website is like. This is a code and back end of every website. This is how every website looks. This is Google. This is how every website looks. So this dynamic website is saying it is saying that it differs from from user to user. There are some websites you go in, it will be asking you to either log in or register or something like that let's go to let's go to gmail.com yeah you see what i'm telling you this is an example of what a dynamic website you see what he's saying here he said account sign in my account other saved items and other this thing now, all this thing you're seeing here, it differs. Another client might come in now and search in this website. Whatever I'm seeing here might not actually be the same thing that, that another visitor will see. So this is just an example of a static, a dynamic word website. So they change from user to user. And for instance, you've other see some other crypto websites where you can log into and then you see what they are doing they will ask you to either register or sign up and all that but in a static website it is not that same way it is just static and what you just have to see is html files which are just document and pre-written text and it is generated before you start developing the website while in the dynamic website it is generated as you go so what we'll be going into now is what we're we'll going to is what is a web page yeah what is a web page yeah a web page or a web page is a, like this how these are the two different ways you can can write it either a web page then backspace or you join it together as a compound word a web page is a document commonly written in html that is viewed in an interest browser in an inter internet browser a web page can be accessed by entering the url address into a browser address bar a web page may contain text graphics and hyperlink to other web pages and files what is your page is let me let me just let me walk you through is it a web page or a web page is a document commonly written in html file that is viewed in an internet browser internet browser like chrome firefox internet explorer and all that a web page can be accessed by entering the url let me say for instance julia.com or our own website webblog.com into a browser address bar a web page may contain a text graphics and graphics and hyperlinks to other web pages and files. Some of the common web pages on a website are the following. 
we have the first one a home page this is also called the landing page and it is the web page where visitors arrive when they come to the website for example we have the home page of our own agency which is www.webblog.com this is the url and so let me walk you through the website let's go back Yeah, this is the URL in the address bar. This is the URL of our website. If you copy this URL now and send it to any other place, you'll see that it will still be of this same way. So these things are home, they are web pages. You see this one now. This is our home page. This is about us. This is blog, our blog. These are our services. These are is a contact us page. And all these web pages they have different function and different things they do but for the purpose of definition this is our home page if you also click it now you see that anything you click is this is just what the website is all about every home page of the website tells you what the website you are on what it is all about you can see this is just the thing on our own home page then we also have an about us page we also have an about us page and about us page tells you more about what the web this particular website you are on what is it all about what is it all about it is where you now go to see what the website is all about and it may contain text and all that text you have videos you have graphics and all that so this is a these are web pages that some websites may have and we have another one here we have about us page this is a web page. It gives information about the owner of the website. If it is a store, it might include the store name, contact form, and other information about the store. You see what I was saying? These are this I just used these two for to make the video shorter. We have some other web pages as I showed you from our own website, webblog.com. We have a home page, we have about us page, we have a contact, contact us page. We have blog, we have services which the website offers. So and it says here, unless if it is a store or like a store like an e-commerce, precisely junior, the, the, it is at the about us page that they will tell you that yes, you are in a where a, a an, an e-commerce store and these are the services we offer. This is where you are going to see what the owner of the website has for you what this website you are on what you are going to get or either where you can buy stuff and all that so let's continue yeah the next the next we have here is what is a web server and how a website work and for you to understand how a website work you need to know what a web server is how um client the client's journey like walking through this website so let's get right and let me walk you through what the web server is yeah let's see he said a web server is a software and hardware this is the definition in this site i just love this definition that is why i i saved it and i came here to explain what a web server is yeah he said a web server is a software and hardware that uses http hypertext transfer protocol and other protocols to respond to clients requests made over the www that is world wide web the way main job of a web the main job of a web server is to display websites content through storing processing and delivering web pages to users besides http web servers also support smtp simple mail transfer protocol and the ftp file transfer protocol used for email file transfer and storage yeah what i want you to get here now is see the main job of of a web server just this highlighted text the main job of a web server is to display website content through storing processing and delivering web pages to users as I said before, for every website you site you search for online, this is what it is. This is how every website looks. This is how every website 
looks and for every domain every domain is known by a an ip address every domain name which is for instance this google.com every every domain is noted and stored in the web server with a with an ip address and this ip address whenever a client comes online and search for something like let's say junior.com we enter this is the okay let's let me go back let's make this on what we are using let's use enter you see the particular page where you come to whenever you search for google.com then you cannot enter into the search bar and search but see what the source code like this code will be translated and transcripted into this visible something like into this visible page for every because it is somehow you come to a website you enter the domain and you are of any website then you come here and start seeing something like this it will be very it will it will piss you off and then you might end up not doing what you are supposed to do in the website but when you come and you enter the url of the website like google.com and you bring you come to this particular page it is more alluring and it is more enticing to you so what you end up doing you feel relaxed and then going into the place to continue doing the search you will do so that is what a web server does a web server connects whatever the user has typed into the browser let me say for instance you have in mind to search for junior yeah let's say junior.com you you've entered the url the url for junior is what junior.com and then you come to a browser for instance chrome and you enter junior.com instead of this a thing like this to come out instead of a thing like this to come out what you would rather see is what you rather see is let's search for junior.com what you rather see is a page like this it will no longer this web server will go let's let me show you the, in the definition and it says it it is it displays website content through storing processing this process the in the storing and whatever thing that happens in this processing is the outcome of what you're seeing here and what really happens in the processing is transforming this code this code and written text here into a visible and pleasurable page like this so whatever that happens in the processing during the process of every thing you're seeing here it is transforming this code you're seeing here this particular code which is how every website looks and bringing it to a pleasurable page where you can see beautiful pictures like this and it is based besides http web servers also support and all these things these are what the web page and web server really does and it is a sum up of what and how a website works able to establish what a website is to explain what the static and dynamic websites you see the static website do not allow for interaction while the dynamic website allows for interaction and we've gone through what a web page is yeah so i'm sure that this video was productive and um, educative so this is the end of the video i walked you through what a website is what is a web page what is a web server and how a website works so if you are new to our channel this is your blog media tv so subscribe to our channel so whenever we release videos relating to these which are educative and which you want to watch you'll be the first to get the to be notified and then you watch the video thank you i'm gonna see you in the next video in the next video we'll be doing in this same series i'll be walking you through explaining more on how a website works and then explaining to you more on what are web page and um, static website and dynamic website so stay tuned we'll see you when next will come in subsequent videos thank you